everybody. Con Maestro here. Welcome to the Con's Court. So, it seems from Variety, we've got Deadpool and Wolverine overtakes Joker as the highest grossing R-rated film in history with one or 1.08 billion globally. Wow. Deadpool is living up to his self-appointed moniker as Marvel Jesus. Disney's comic book sequel, Deadpool and Wolverine, has generated $1.086 billion at the global box office after 23 days of release, overtaking 2019's Joker of $1.078 billion as the highest grossing R-rated movie and history. Marvel's Save the Universe adventure landed in theaters on July 26th, collecting a mighty $211 million in its domestic debut to rank as the sixth biggest opening uh, weekend of all time. Since then, Deadpool and Wolverine has remained a massive draw with $516 million in North America, $568 million internationally. It surpassed the entire theatrical runs of its predecessors, 2016's Deadpool with $783 million and 2018's Deadpool 2 with $786 million after just two weeks in the theaters. It's now the second blockbuster of 2024, following Disney's Pixar smash Inside Out 2 with $1.558 billion, and second R-rated movie ever to join the coveted Billion Dollar Club. That is absolutely insane. Um, it definitely deserves that type of love. Uh, this movie was an amazing movie. Um, I, you guys know, I went to the movie, I saw it, um, the day it was released, I saw it on the 26th, um, I was super, super excited about it, I had very high hopes for this movie, I had very high expectations, I had very, um, crazy, uh, expectations of who would cameo, who would show up, what they would give us, and, uh, as I told you all in the review, I'll tell you all now, I 100% was not mistaken by any of that. My hopes were not given up. Everything came to fruition almost exactly the way that I thought it would go. Um, and even more than I, I expected, it even did some. Um, it, it surpassed and exceeded expectations, and this movie just was perfect. This movie was absolutely perfect. Um, it, it just could not be any better. Um, I mean, it could. <laughs> there, you could have added more characters to make it even crazier. But like the the over, you know, covering theme of the movie, the over covering story of the movie. It was amazing. It was great. Having Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine, having uh, Ryan Reynolds Deadpool back, and having them in their comic accurate suits, having them have amazing backstories and reasons for wanting to do this and to save the multiverse, um, the way that they saved the multiverse, the characters that were involved, um, it, it, it was just amazing. And it was a, it was a win that Disney so desperately needed with Marvel because many people were getting tired of superheroes, tired of the superhero movies, and not even so much as tired of the superhero movies. That's not even really as big of a problem. People still want superhero movies, as you can tell. It's just they want superhero movies for the superheroes they actually like, and they want them done well and done justice. And the problem is, is that now Disney has been, well, not now, because they say they're trying to get away from it. They've actually made claims that they're getting away from it. And I'm hoping that's the case. But for a very, very long time, many, many years, Disney was on this kind of woke train of having all of these political points and beliefs and views and trying to shove it into the um, watcher's face to basically have the audience drowned out with politics 
and political views and all this woke crap that nobody cares about. You know, nobody cares about your your sexual orientation. Nobody cares about what you identify as. Nobody cares about any of that stuff. At the end of the day, what we came for is superheroes and villains fighting each other. That's all we came for. So with them saying that they're getting away from focusing on all that because they probably realize that's not really the whole point of comics and, and Marvel. I don't understand why we're pinpointing this onto the audience, which is very smart. Um, you end up making movies like this, like Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, and the only people that have, have had problems with this movie are the woke, you know, kind of, what do you call it, politically involved actors and directors and stuff like that of Hollywood. But you don't see anybody else crying about it. The audience loves it. Everybody else loves it. It's making a bunch of money, as you can hear. It's now the number one uh, grossing R-rated movie ever, overtaking Joker. And it's showing that if Marvel just plays their cards right, does it the way that they need to do it, you know, actually goes from source material and actually tries to bring in characters from past Marvel movies, you know, make cool cameos, have cool fight scenes, bring back cool actors or cast cool actors, um, and actually does a very good story and has cool action, fun, humor, and adventure and does it correctly, you end up making hits. They need to keep doing this. They need to go back to the way that the MCU was. Um, because this is far better than anything we've gotten. This beats She-Hulk. This beats um, WandaVision. This beats, uh, I would even say, Loki. Loki Season 1 and 2. I absolutely love Loki Season 1 and 2. I think it's a great story and it's, um, it's amazing. But a lot of people didn't like it neither. Um, for a couple reasons that I can understand and agree with. So with that being said, this beats Miss Marvel. It beats the Marvels by a long shot. It beats Captain Marvel. All these movies that nobody cared about. Uh, this 100% beats it. So I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, the proof is in the pudding and you can see it right in front of your face. We should be making movies like this. This should be overtaking stuff like She-Hulk. Like, who cares about She-Hulk? <laughs> who cares? You know what I mean? And I feel like Disney, for some reason, like I said, has just been politically involved. And they've been prone to making just bad movies and shows just to be pushing agendas. That's all they've been doing. And we've seen that with The Acolyte, which was absolutely terrible. Some people liked it. But that's probably just because they were blindly consuming Disney product and just not thinking with their head. If you actually paid attention to the show, the show sucks. It doesn't follow with the canon of Star Wars. It doesn't make sense. They desecrated Darth Plagueis the Wise by making him some weird, creepy cave creature that's watching little, you know, watching kids and little witches on a planet and learning all of his great vast knowledge of how to create life with the force from them it's stupid it was a stupid story stupidly written terrible actors and terrible acting and it just all in all was a pile of shit and it was and you can't tell me any different no different was she hulk no different with um you know some of the stuff with wandavision no different with miss marvel no different with the marvels no different with captain marvel i can just go down the list it was just no different. Echo, who, who cares about Echo? That's my point. We need to be making stuff like this, not the bullcrap that they've been shoveling into our mouths trying to force feed us that we do not want. <laughs> I'm so glad that this is doing so well. And I'm glad that Marvel's kind of taking the hint of, oh, this is how we're going to make money, not this. This is doing far better than anything we're doing. We should listen to Ryan Reynolds and what Hugh Jackman have been saying and making cool movies like this, having cameos, doing stuff like this, instead of listening to whatever the heck else this is. I'm glad. Good. They're finally learning. It's about time. Um, 
But anyways, if you enjoyed this little bit of news and my reaction to it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Post your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you all thought. Are you all excited about this? Are you glad that Disney is now taking a good turn uh, into the good direction and giving us movies that we actually want and hopefully will completely change their point of view and uh, direction and kind of leaving out modern politics and leaving out all these modern racial problems and sex problems and all this other stuff that nobody cares about. Um, and as always, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.